to the York Castle High School, one of St. Anne's premier secondary high schools. York Castle High was started by the Methodists in 1876 in the district of Alderton on the York Castle estate. Um, this estate was once a pimento growing estate, but the Methodists would have purchased York Castle. Um, and after purchasing, they established the high school plus a theological college. Um, the first York Castle operated as a boys' school. Of course, that school was a very successful school. Um, some of Jamaica's notable scholars graduated from that school, including Jamaica's first road scholar. Um, football was introduced to Jamaica from that school. Um, unfortunately, uh, because this school was catered to poor black Jamaicans, um, they didn't necessarily get a lot of support from the plantation class and it closed in 1906. Of course, it operated um, gradually at the Brownstone Baptist Church, operated for some time, sorry, at the Brownstone Baptist Church, um, where Mr. Brownwell operated a small high school. So a lot of the students who were displaced at the old York Castle would have transferred to the school operated by Bramwell at the Brownstone Baptist Church, and that is Theophilus Bramwell, a very distinguished and helpful gentleman. Um, his school also had uh, challenges, and it closed in the 1950s and um, his vice principal took it on, renamed it Henderson High School in honor of the Baptist pastor who would have supported them um, during the over 40 years of the school's existence. Um, but that school also had their challenges, economic challenges, which, which, which forced its closure. So um, again, the school went under, but parents would have rallied together, got some financial assistance, and relaunched the Northside High School. Again, they experienced challenges, and they approached the Methodists for assistance. Methodists came on board and re-established the Old Castle um, at lands that they owned in Egypt in 1958. And so that's where we are now in Egypt um, as a consequence of the parents responding. Since 1958, your castle has been a dominant force here in, in, in St. Anne. We, we, we have been producing some of the nation's best citizens um, or graduates excel globally. And we continue to build on the legacy that would have started from 1876, restarted in 1958 here in um, Alderton. Your Castle at this point offers one of the most comprehensive um, curriculum in the country. Um, so you find that we have a humanities-based program, a TVET-based program. Um, 35 subjects are offered at the CSEC level, over 26 at the Cape level, um, along with some city and guilds diploma courses. So as you as you tour the campus with us, you would notice that our sixth form block is at the front of the institution, along with the administrative block and um, the food and nutrition um, facilities, food and nutrition or what we now call human ecology facilities are at the front along with the six one block and administrative facilities. Um, our science lab, although it has been in existence since 1958, our science lab too um, is well equipped 
and we offer a comprehensive science program. Um, one of our students was the top chemistry student in the Caribbean this year, um, top Cape student. Um, the computer science lab too is, is, is quite equipped. We, we have over 180 computers on that block. We offer a range of subjects, um, including digital media, gaming and animation, um, or industrial technology uh, program, which is housed at the uh, auditorium. Um, you, if you were to go in, you would have noticed too that it's a very advanced department where we offer building, mechanical engineering, motor vehicle maintenance, AutoCAD, and, and programs that will prepare students for the construction industry. Um, so yes, we, we, we have been able to add a number of facilities that we didn't necessarily have in the 70s, 80s, 90s. And we will continue to build, we will continue to be grateful to our alumni associations who would have contributed our AutoCAD lab, our automotive lab, and they renovated a room that was in a state of disrepair that we now use as our geography room. So your castle continues to grow and it is our hope that past students will continue to support what we do. The corporate um, society will continue to support what we do because at the end of the day, the more we improve our facilities, um, it's the more we are likely to empower our students. And as we continue to say, in Cine Magna Labore, our school motto, nothing is achieved without hard work.